C. Lindelof videos. Find the amount after sales tax. So find the amount that you have to pay after you pay your sales tax. So we have an item that costs $45 and we have a sales tax of 6.25%. So this is where this gets a little bit dicey. I don't, I don't even write this, but I'm going to show you what these teachers are showing. Just 6.25% uh, times $45 is equal to what? Because you have to add your sales tax. This is going to get you in a lot of trouble. When you see this sign, you guys, when you see this sign, this is great for reading and not good for math. So the first thing you need to do, when you want to get out of percent, out of percent, move the decimal place over two to the right, sorry, two to the left. So this is dividing by 10, this is dividing by 100, and now we get that six, sorry, two, five. I can prove this because if they said that as a, de as a decimal, this is, as a decimal, this is 6.25%, to change it into a percent, you'd move it over, you'd multiply by 100. So if you multiply by 100, this is multiplying by 10, this is multiplying by 10 again, 10 times 10 is 100. So that's that, times 45. Let me just show you this way. I hope you're staying with me because I'm not going to actually do it this way. This is not what I would do. But let me show it to you because if the question was, what is the sales tax, this is what I would do. I'd say, okay, the sales tax is 6.25%. I change my percent to a decimal. I multiply, got back 2.8. 8125. Of course, um, assuming that you're in the United States, we don't have these values, right? We don't have these values. This, These are cents. This is 81 cents. We don't have this. So I would round from here. Two doesn't round, round it up. So I'm going to do that. However, if you were really a business owner, you'd always round up. So you'd get more money. But having said that, so this is tax. But your tax is in addition to what you have to pay. So, so total due is equal to the $45 for the cost of the thing plus the tax of 2.81, which is equal to 40, sorry, $47.81, isn't it? Another way to do this, which would just be a heck of a lot faster, and I want you to try this on your own time, is I would just say, the total I'm going to pay is the cost, so I'm going to pay one times the cost of the thing plus the tax, and the tax is six, right? Here's my tax. So this is, one. this one is for, this one right here is 100% of the cost, and also I'm going to, you're going to pay this in tax times 45. So this is like how you'd actually do this in a store. You're like, okay, quickly, how much is this going to cost me? You take your bill, you take the total of the items that you had, total them in your head, and then multiply that by 1.0625. You wouldn't, you wouldn't add all the items and then calculate the tax for each item and then add it individually. It's nuts. It's just not smart. So I would do it this way, and you'd get 47.81. Look, the cost didn't change, but you were smarter for having done it this way. I hope this is helpful. Um, these are not the videos I usually do, but when you uh, ask me to do these, it's my pleasure. So I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, please do.